Oh, hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, I'm not in my usual location, not at home, but I have an awesome video for you, and it's between these two bad boys, the Surface Duo, and the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, these are both either dual screen de devices or one a foldable device. One's from Microsoft, which is a duo, and we've got the Z Fold 2 from Samsung. Now, we know quite well about the Z Fold 2, so let's look at the Surface Duo. Uh, as you've seen with other videos today, hardware is impeccable. Microsoft has done a good job, just like with everything with the Surface line, of creating a piece of hardware that is truly worth picking up. Uh, anyone who sees this is odd. It looks like a mini laptop. I like the feel. I like opening, closing it. I love the fact that it's really thin all around. Uh, the hinge is just amazing when you use it all, all together. Uh, there is a fingerprint sensor, power button, and volume rocker. Now, this video is all about gaming, right? That's what we want to see. In terms of gaming, specs-wise, we're looking at the Snapdragon 855 processor, six gigs of RAM, 3,570 milliamp in terms of battery size and dual display. So 5.6 inches uh, all together, span together, it's about 8.1. Now you're gonna ask, can you actually game with the entire displays together? So having an 8.1 inch display, yes you can. You can actually load any application to use both screens, but this is the first dilemma you'll face because you can clearly see that gap in between. And if you're aiming down, science, down center in FPS, that becomes a slight problem, but you still can play with dual screens as well. So you can actually, just like the LG, uh, LG devices, like the Velvet or the V60, you can have two applications running on each display and you can launch uh, any application you want that's paired together. Cool thing is you can also launch two games at the same time. So PUBG on one hand, as well as Call of Duty uh, mobile on the other hand, and you can jump in between those games or actually play at the same time, I guess. So technically you could have a friend having one side of the display and you have the other and you can game. Audio wise, you don't wanna do that. Speaking of audio, the speaker's on the top of the device. So it's not necessarily one top, one bottom, it's both of them at the top part of the device, which is quite interesting. Now, how does this fare against the Z Fold 2 in terms of gaming? We know the Z Fold 2 has an outer display of 6.3 inches, 7.6 internal, 120 hertz display for that internal display, Snapdragon 865 Plus processor there, and um, we also have a, a big 4500 milliamp battery. But it's a foldable device. It's different from this Z Fold 2. Uh, basically folds and opens one giant display. These are two displays on the Surface Duo. So without wasting any more time, let's look at side-by-side -side comparison of gaming on both devices and how it actually plays.
So we saw how they played, but what, how did they perform? The Duo versus the Z Fold 2. Benchmarks, we got 40 frames per second for both devices, which is still fine. Uh, but remember the Z Fold 2 was at a higher settings. Now when it came to Call of Duty Mobile, both of them did 60 frames per second uh, for both the Duo and the Z Fold 2. And then Xbox Game Pass Beta, uh, the Surface 2 did 56 frames per second, while the Z Fold 2 did 57. So again, quite similar. When it came to temperatures, uh, they were also similar. The Surface 2 was about 96 degrees during gameplay, while the uh, Z Fold 2 was around 97. So that's pretty much similar in terms of uh, temps. Audio-wise, I think the clear king is the Z Fold 2. The speakers are really rich compared to the thinner, speakers on the Surface Duo. Now, don't get me wrong, the Surface Duo is a well-built device. I think the software as well are the things or issues come into play. This actually plays games well. The Snapdragon 855 processor is a solid processor. The six gigs of RAM still works. And again, if you're doing cloud gaming, it really doesn't matter. I think what was a bit frustrating is Microsoft not taking advantage of the hardware they built with some software. So for instance, the ability to remap buttons, because you have a dual display, that should be something uh, we should see. LG does it with the Velvet, the V60 line, um, and that's something I thought I would see here, especially after Microsoft has talked about cloud gaming and the push for Xbox Game Pass, this should be my portable Xbox. I will want to use it in this format, the bottom display here being my controller and then the top display being, of course, where I actually game. And now, yes, there are bezels and I understand that, but there are some things there that just don't work. And some of the resizing as well, uh, when I was playing Game Pass, I was on a full screen, then it went to this narrow band screen. Those are the things that actually have plagued my gaming experience. You can game, you can, as you've seen, it can game well, yes, on the 5.6 inch display or across both display with the gap in the middle, or you can play two games at the same time uh, with your friends. That is possible, but the software isn't, it's not, it's just not there to meet those needs. Now, in comparison, the Z Fold 2, really hits it all home. We know this does 120 uh, hertz for the internal display. We've seen it with games like Vainglory. Uh, we also know that uh, this also has a very uh, massive battery, 4,500 milliamps, so your gaming sessions go longer, the speakers are louder. Uh, I can go on and on, and the clear winner is the Z Fold 2, but I wanted to spend some more time on the Duo because I really like the hardware, and I'm sure you've heard that from a lot of people uh, today. And I think that the love for the hardware, of course, doesn't negate the fact that the software isn't there. Microsoft, your software company. And I know you make some good software. Well, and that is something Microsoft definitely has to fix. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Surface Duo, let me know, I'll try and answer them for you. Or if you have comments about the Z Fold 2, definitely check out my videos. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.